New tonight at six, our beaches are washing away and the impacts are devastating. We are in the middle of hurricane season now, leaving what's left of the sand at an even greater risk. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin shares why the project meant to help is on pause. With every wave, will these turtle eggs die? Yeah. A little bit of sand is pulled away from our beaches. This is what's left of Paso Girl Beach. It's nourished on about a 10 year schedule, so it was last done in 2014, and we're looking to do it again. Um, this year. This renourishment project includes Treasure Island, Upham, and Paso Girl beaches. Sand is dredged offshore, then pumped onto the beach. You know, obviously, the more beach that we have, the more protection that we have from, from hurricanes, the more protection we have from the weather. The Army Corps of Engineers is in charge, and now the project may not happen on schedule. Uh, as of our last uh, meeting, they uh, they said it was going to be delayed. Dr. John Bishop is the Pinellas County Coastal Management Coordinator. He says the Army Corps is now requesting perpetual property easements for Treasure Island renourishment. Without those easements, Paso Grill suffers too. And it's really frustrating that we have been meeting for over a year on, on this project and that these easement requests have come in at the last second. County officials tell me roughly 110% of the sand has washed away here on Paso Girl Beach since the last renourishment project. Now, this not only has a major impact on what your beach experience is like, it also has major consequences for our sea life. We do have several times that the nests are washed over, so they're, they do not hatch due to that reason because they don't have enough beach to lay their eggs on. Minutes after interviewing these sea turtle trackers, this nest was discovered, destroyed. Without beach renourishment, these nests might be next. Just to give the sea, sea turtles a better chance at their nesting and survival rate. Um, at this point, if we have washovers, like she said, uh, viability of eggs is very limited. In St. Pete Beach, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Tomorrow, Malik shares an in-depth look at the need for sand at Treasure Island Beach and the challenges they now face if the Army Corps of Engineers requires easements to move forward.